there. Tennis reporter Vanessa Simlot joins us to walk us through that video and why some of those factory workers are suing the feds. Vene? Data shows several East Tennessee counties in East Tennessee are now out of high county community level status for COVID-19 transmission. Now you're taking a look here at the updated map that was provided by the CDC. This came as last night. Now Knox Blunt, look at this um, on their website as well for whatever area you live in. Yeah, you can see uh, the note the counties. All right. Well, some pet boarding facilities are reporting a rise in kennel cough cases. It's a highly contagious disease that attacks your dog's lungs. Continues in less than two weeks. The balls will be back in action at Neyland Stadium, and we are so excited on this big orange Friday. We'll go ahead and call it that, right? Getting goosebumps already. I can feel that Rocky Top fever in the air. Pride of the Southland Band, marching band, is getting ready as well. One of Scott's arrived at Maryville College's campus for move in today. Yeah, dorms open to first. Well, here's a fun fact for you. It's National Aviation Day, and to celebrate, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation posted these photos on Facebook. Check they it out. are from the agency's aviation unit. The TBI uses it for aircraft, for search and rescue of missing people, and when they're catching violent fugitives. Looks like they have a little fluff guy there in the cockpit, too. A little pup oh, along for the ride. Yeah, this That's is. Pretty really cool. cool. And Chase Tennessee saved a dog going through cardiac arrest. Wow, the Kings Park. Welcome back. Rising prices impacting pretty much every part of our lives. Good boy, that's so true. Now people are looking for new ways to save a buck. When it comes to their meals, here how here's how rather in today's connecting the dots. If you do plan to eat out later this month, you can help out a good cause because on August. Well, first we are calling all tattoo lovers. The Knoxville Tattoo Convention is taking place this weekend at the World's Fair Exhibition Hall. It's going to feature a weekend. Just go to our Ten About Town page <laughs> online at WBR.com and we've got the full list there because there's always so much going on. Forgive me, I have uh, my Your hydration, beverage. my Your hydration showing on the table. Hey, really quickly before we toss to break, uh, we have to Oates spoke with instructors at a flight school near Memphis about combating the shortage with a diverse range of pilots. Question reporter Cole Sullivan shows us how they're training the first generation of space doctors. The program is recruiting right now and they hope to start training one or two students next year. Pretty Very impressive. interesting. Yeah, I'm great to hear from Cole Sullivan, who was a reporter here for a long time and also an anchor. Well, we thank you for watching, everyone. We hope you have a great evening. Yeah, have a good weekend. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Relax. A lot of activities. You can find <laughs> all that info in our Ton About Town on Live at 5 at 4 page of WBIR.com. We'll help you plan your weekend. That's it for Live at 5 at 4. 10 News at 5 is going to get started right after a quick break.